Book of Sirach, chapter 5, verse 7. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed, and perish in the day of vengeance. All right, let's start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, noble honors to our apostles and elders. Great millstone, teach us his truth according to the Bible, and we will. I know this is the one, all the sincere Akim, through the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity and in charity. <coughs> and another the one, to all the sincere followers, believers of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Not just hearers of the word, but doers as well. You men, women, and children, hopefully, elect Shalom. And um, I'm just going to just bring this out. You know, there's a lot of uh, judgment going on. You got rappers being put to death. All right, you got mass shootings, all right, throughout the weekend and the weekend before. <clears throat> and this is a message to the children of Israel, which consists of the so called Negro Latino Native Americans. All right, the Lord is bringing judgment. And uh, you don't have all day to seek him. As the scripture says, Sirach 5 and 7, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. See how people turn to any and everything up under the sun rather than the God of the Bible and his only begotten son. All right. They seek salvation. They seek help in carnal ways instead of seeking spiritual and putting that off from day to day because, you know, we'll come back to this. <clears throat> because um, the reason why you shouldn't put off from day to day is because uh, what scripture is that? Ecclesiastes 9. All right. It says, For man also knoweth not his time. This time of what's time of death. All right. So when the scripture says, make no tarry and turn to the Lord and put that off from day to day, it's because you don't know. We don't know when we're going to take our last breath on this earth, man. You got to let that sink in. Can you sit here and say, you're going to live the next minute. You're going to live the next hour. You're going to live the next day. You're going to live the next year. No, you cannot. The scriptures are deadly serious and very important, man. And what it's saying. It's Ecclesiastes 9 and 12. For man also knoweth not his time. As the fishes that are taken in an evil net. And as the birds that are caught in the snare. A snare is a trap. So are the sons of men snared in an evil time. E meaning time. Ill meaning bad. Can be an ill time for the ones of our people, man, who don't turn back to the Lord. It says, when it falleth suddenly upon them. All right. Because it is going to fall suddenly upon our people. The ones that are not uh, uh, taking heed to the words of your house, Bashmi Shot. The ones that are not watching. Okay. Back in Sirach 5 and 7, it says. Make no tarrying turns to the Lord and put off from day to day. And why is that? Because man, he's brought out Ecclesiastes 9, doesn't know his time. Okay? It says, For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And the wrath of the Lord is coming forth, man. Every day do the, the Lord bring forth his judgment. It says, And thy security are right, the things you find comfort in, things you trust in. Thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Okay? And the day of vengeance is upon us. It's upon us as a people, man. It's called Jacob's trouble. Let's go to, um... Let's go to, um... I just had a precept in my head. It'll come back to me. Let's go to um Let's go to please no where's that? Slocky, I drew a blank. <clears throat> I 
<coughs> this is uh, Amos 8 and 11. It reads, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I was in a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. So when we read, open up with Sirach, the fifth chapter, make no turn and turn to the Lord. That means seeking his word, seeking him through his prophets. Start off with I had apostles and elders of great millstone on down. All right. And remember uh, Jeremiah 3 and 15, I will give you pastors according to my heart that shall feed you with knowledge and wisdom, understanding, roughly paraphrasing. Now is the time to get that. Now. Okay, the Lord is sending his servants, rising them early and sending them before what? Destruction comes. So this, the sincere, the sincere, the honest, the meek, the humble, the elect can get this word. And you want to be a part of that. We're telling you that now. See how people are not going to understand until they're caught up in uh, uh, the calamities that the Lord is bringing. For them to want to be part of the elect. No. Y'all want to be a part of that before it hits. It says, but of hearing the word. So the Lord's going to have it to where you can't even get this understanding, this wisdom, this knowledge, which is able to keep you stable. All right. It says, and they shall wander from sea to sea, from the north, even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Okay. And that's going to be a cold day. And then what's going to happen? What's going to happen to you? Right. When you can't find this word and you're unstable, what's going to happen to you, man? It says Second Ezra seven and twenty it says, For there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of Yahweh that is set before them. And how was the law of the most high set before you through his men? It's always been that way. All right. Luke uh the first chapter around the seventieth verse. All right. This is for Yahweh have given straight commandment to such as Cain what they should do to live. All right, so the Lord gave commandments what you should do if you want to live, even as they came and what they should observe to avoid punishment. All right, the, the commandment is, look, make no tarrying and turn to the Lord. Okay? Not to your own uh, 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 things. Remember the scriptures tell us that uh, he that try to save his life shall lose his life. And he that loses his life shall save his life. All right. It reads on. Nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him. Yeah, they they, they tarried. All right. Two thirds of our people are going to tarry. You don't want to be a part of that group. Because the Lord got, got swift judgment going out throughout the four corners of the earth amongst our people. I just saw an article, another article um, in Nigeria, which is which are Israelites. All right. A lot of those Nigerians are Israelites. Um, some dude ran up in a church and, and, and shot down 40 of them, man. That was a judgment of the Lord. And the Lord's not in them churches, man. Acts 7 and 48. Nevertheless, let's keep reading. It says, um, nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him, but spake against him and imagined vain things and deceived themselves by their wicked deeds and said of the Most High that he is not and knew not his ways. Yep, and that's our people all day. It says, but his law have they despised, they hated it, and denied his covenants and his statutes. Have they not been faithful and have not performed his works? You see? The Lord has given you what you need to live, all right? But what do our people do? They tarry. They despise it. They don't want to hear it. They imagine vain things. So therefore, look, the Lord's not going to uh, 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 protect them in these last days, man. He's going to let uh, uh, um, Esau have at it. 
So it's just something to consider in these last days, man. Are you tarrying to turn back to the Lord? Are you hating what the prophets are saying on the highways and byways? You need to reconsider your thoughts, Israel. And once again, these lessons we do only for the elect. All right. Which consists the so-called Negro Latino Native Americans out of the nation of Israel. So-called. Shalom.